His two colleagues have been denied bail because the head of state has been threatening everybody that he wants them to be in prison. Yet they were granted bail under the Constitution because they are presumed to be innocent. Mr. Speaker, the procedure issue I'm raising in more specific terms, if the Constitution has been overthrown and the judiciary is going to be intimidated to work on the orders on the orders of the head of state. And he doesn't know tomorrow you're going to be a victim. I was in the same prison cell with Jim Moez, Honorable. You will be there yourself. Is he in order to be in the habit of referring to me when it, it is not necessary? I never do the same. I have all grounds to talk about him. I can't because I know he's a member of parliament representing the people of uh, that uh, but, but honor Chira. honorable minister what has he said this time he has said nothing so <laughs> so he has he, he, yes he and, has you, said, and you expect me to rule him out of order for saying nothing my name he has mentioned my name when there is no point, and my name is very important, I have worked very hard for it, it should be used only when there is important substance. By the way, they keep records, those Ruzira fellows. They showed me where Professor Gilbert Bukanya used to sleep. They showed me where Captain Mike Mukura used to sleep. They also showed me where Honorable Jim Wes Katugugu used to sleep. That is the history of B2 in Ruzira, and they remember details of each and everybody. If you want me to say something, they say they, when people are released, they leave their belongings for others, but for you went and picked back a two-inch mattress. <laughs> that they said. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, <laughs>